nerd out in these stunning, award-winning libraries. Libraries, and to an extent, bookshops, are any avid reader's second home. But they can also be much more than stacks of books. They can be community learning centers, internet hubs, safe places for kids to go after school, workspaces for freelancers, and non-commercial venues for older folks to gather. First up, Hillary Rodham Clinton Children's Library and Learning Center in Little Rock, Arkansas. Polk Stanley Wilcox Architects went way beyond the idea of a library with their design, creating Arkansas's first holistically imagined children's education destination. It includes a performance space, teaching kitchen, greenhouse, vegetable garden, and an arboretum that allows children to cultivate, harvest, prepare meals, and sell produce in a planned farmer's market, according to a release. This lead gold space has shifted a dangerous neighborhood in the city to a safe space and teaches sustainability via smart monitors that keep track of real-time use of water and electricity. Second, Cedar Rapids Public Library in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. OPM Architects Incorporated designed this library to lead platinum requirements, utilizing abundant natural light, a geothermal system, and daylight harvesting strategies to minimize the building's energy use. The green roof and use of permeable pavers across the site allow the building to retain 90% of all of annual rainfall on the site in underground stormwater collection chambers. Inside, a spacious two-story lobby brings together all of the core patron services in a hub and spoke system. Bright colors and unusual furniture are appealing to kids and kids at heart. Number three, the Claire T. Carney Library in Dartmouth, Massachusetts. Originally conceived by Paul Rudolph as a centerpiece to this commuter college, the brutalist building became dysfunctional over time. Amazingly, the university kept the library open during the two-year redesign and subsequent transformation. With half the collections relocated to basement storage, the creation of a wide variety of new service and collaborative workspaces, and the addition of a glass-enclosed campus living room, the Kearney Library is now the most popular place on campus, as evidenced by a gate count that has tripled, according to a release from the school. Number four is the Vancouver Community Library in Vancouver, Washington. This LEED Gold Library is a brand new five-story building in the city's core that uses materials to reflect new and historic neighborhoods in Vancouver. Architects Miller Hull decided that the concept for the interior was a drawer full of knowledge, which would make accessing the library's contents easy and would encourage exploration. Number five, the Mission Branch Library in San Antonio, Texas. Just a single story high, this LEED Silver Certified Library, designed by Munoz and Company, uses all kinds of interesting local materials in its construction. The exterior of the building features a locally sourced San Saba sandstone wainscot that wraps the entire perimeter of the white stucco walls, according to a release. The entrance is via an oversized copper-clad doorway embossed with decorative pattern pulled from Mission San Jose. You can see some of the brick, three brick bovedas above, cross vaults built without centering by local craftsmen. The interior bovedas are echoed in the exterior as well. Tiles and stucco are used inside and out, and you can't mistake where you are. The Slover Library in Norfolk, Virginia. A former 115-year-old courthouse and city hall were restored, and added to, to create the new Slover Public Library by Newman Architects, along with Timof and Moss. The combination of old and new structures isn't hidden, but made obvious in the interior of the building, while taking advantage of natural light. Did today's featured photos inspire you to visit any of the libraries above? If they did, let us know what you thought in the comments below.